What's up guys? I'm back with another video. I'm showing you my living room because I can get the most decent lighting from here. So, Riverdale Season 3 came back on last night. I kind of debated whether or not I wanted to do a review. I did the review thing for Season 2 and it kind of like, basically it kind of died down when the season started to act up like a mess. But I have hope in Season 3 with what's going and damn, this premiere really did that. So. I'm going to go through um, everything in the episode and possible predictions, and if this video gets more than 30 views, then maybe I'll do a review for the next episode. This is just a test run for season 3. And if you hear something in the background, that's me making coffee. Um, okay, so we pick up three months after the season 2 finale. Archie is on trial. He's been on trial for the last three months during the summer, and basically... The people are, that lawyer is trying to pay him out as a cold-blooded killer. Um, his mom and um, what's her name? Josie's mom. Josie's mom, former councilwoman. Basically, they're trying to get his case, um, you know, thrown out. Betty has been like entering during the summer to kind of cope with like avoiding everything with her family at home, especially her dad in jail for murder. Veronica has been a whole mess. She's trying to get her dad to admit that he framed Archie but he won't which Veronica you you know your dad you know your dad he ain't gonna admit to it he wants people to suffer so then we have Jughead he's become like the leader of the serpents at this point and let me just say Jughead he is he is maturing so fast I'm so proud of him and you can see like FP he's probably too then we have Cheryl. She's living up her best life since she got emancipated. Her and Josie went off. Not Josie. Her and Tony. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Her and Tony basically went off and, you know, did some, like, back, like, motorcycle trip for, like, the country. So, I'm guessing she had a really fun time. And she has this new lease on life, but she's still the same bitch that we know and love. Then, um, basically... It's basically Cheryl having a back to school um, pool party. She invites the whole gang because Archie is sent um, away for the weekend because, you know, the trial was set aside to basically make the final verdict. And, you know, everybody finds it hard to have fun because he's going to jail. So, with Betty, her stuff, you know, basically Betty has been trying to avoid her mom and Polly. Polly's gotten her into this occult stuff, which is really freaky. We find out that she's been faking prescriptions and faking going to therapy to get more Adderall to basically have her on hyperspeed and have her deal with like the stress and everything. Um, she goes in and basically she and Jughead, you know, they're just like, why can't we just be happy? I just want to be normal. I want to forget everything. And we cut to the end of the episode with her in the house and she basically sees her mom holding and her sister holding the babies and just we think we're gonna they're gonna be dropping into the fire like some sort of sacrifice like we saw in the trailer we see them levitating now I don't know if because Betty was on her meds or this was really happening but she ends up having a seizure after seeing this so I'm just like Alice you see what you did but she's gonna spin it to be like she's a drug addict so yeah there's that now other jughead stuff okay He's been the leader of the serpents. They find out that the ghoulies kidnapped his dog. So they went after him. And then Penny freaking Peabody is like, Oh, you're not the serpent side anymore. The south side is ours. Give us the jacket and we'll kill you. I'm like, Really? But it's a jacket. Like, you already got it. What's the jacket matter? And then Cheryl, being the bad she is, she launches that bow and arrow like Katniss and warns them to like step off. But basically, this ignites a possible war between the North and the South side. So, we're going to have that subplot storyline for this season again. So, it's only with the ghoulies. Then, um, later on, we see Jughead being, um, I know, I think Homeboy Boy Scout was looking for him. Basically, told him about this game that's in the woods. Jughead has brushed it off and told him, hey, I'm talking to you after the trial. He comes back to his trailer and... The guy's gone, which I predicted. He finds a map that he had made, and he finds him and this other dude that used to work at the concession stand at the movies. The homeboy camper dude's basically dead, and then the other one's kind of having a seizure. So basically, it's some sort of witchcraft that ties into this season for season three. I don't know. Whew. 
Now let's get into Archie and Veronica because their stuff intertwines with each other. So Archie's been on trial for the last three months. Veronica's dad framed them for the murder of that person. Veronica wants to help Archie get out of this. Veronica, look, you, you like 16, 17. There's, <laughs> I know you guys saw Jason Bronson Blossom's murder, but y'all can't get him off a murder charge. No, no. One, your father's vindictive. And two, how are you gonna get that? And she tried to sneak in to the hotel where the jury is to do jury tampering. I'm just like, girl, you doing the most. Like, I know you got you got money and you smart, but girl, you were doing the most. You actually breaking the law. So her mom goes off on her, and then Veronica goes off on her saying that she never stands up to Hiram. The reason why is that Hermione sees herself as expendable. Veronica isn't. So if she, you know, crosses the line, she can get taken out. And me and my roommate, we had the discussion during the whole like scene. We're just like, oh, that makes sense. Because we're over here telling you, calling you the doggone bitch of everything, but now we understand why you are on the side. I mean, because you was running shit season one until Hiram came home, so yeah. Anyway, Archie, he's paranoid. He's having nightmares about the whole thing. He's starting to believe he killed him, even though he didn't. And, you know, he tries to break up with Veronica, which is like, dude, you just had sex and now you want to break up? Well, you want to get that one last time? Like, that's a douchey move. That's a douche move. I'm sorry, Archie. And this is one of the things that pissed me off about Archie. Archie makes impulsive decisions without fully thinking. Like, I know you want to do it for everybody you care about, but you do not think well. <laughs> and just, oh my god. Basically, we get back to the courtroom after the weekend. The jury was dismissed because they talked about the case outside of their, um, out the side of the hotel. And they basically gonna, they're about to do a mistrial. So basically, they don't have to go for the whole thing again. Archie's like, no, I don't want to put everybody through that. Um, the lawyer offers a two-year deal with Juvie and probation after. Archie stands up and says, I'll take the plea. Archie, you idiot. That's what I, I yelled at the TV. I'm like, Archie, you idiot. Why? Do you have any idea what Juvie is like? Like, no! And the judge says, like, are you sure you want to do this? You're about to get, go against your counsel, your own mama. He's like, yes. I'm like, bitch. Oh, my God. So we see Archie get taken away, and we see him on a bus. Veronica's crying, and then Veronica's, like, telling her dad, you happy now? You punished Archie from going against you. And he's like, oh, you know, I didn't punish him. I was punishing you. I'm like... Really now? Really? Your own daughter? Really? He's like, you chose that boy over blood. You had to be punished. I'm like, you asshole. God. And then Veronica says something so good. And she's like, you don't have a daughter anymore. I'm just like, now go for me emancipation. Go get emancipated, okay? Cheryl's doing fine on her own, okay? Get yourself emancipated and get out of there, girl, okay? Get out of there. I hope she gets emancipated this season. Cause I know they're juniors now. I thought they were seniors. Cause I was like, wait a minute. Cause I, she also mentioned something about graduation. I was like, hold up, y'all seniors already? But they're juniors. The whole timeline of the show is so freaking weird. But um, yeah. Veronica, she's pissed. What are those things that I did not remember? Um, I think I went through everything. I think I went through everything that much. Um, Cheryl and Tony, they, they're doing good. They're doing really good. They're slaying the wardrobe in here this season. I love it. Thank God there's no more product placement. We saw um, Five Seconds of Summer get some song promo with their song Young Blood. So, hey. So, with the preview for next week's episode, I'm trying to remember what I saw. I think it was just like basically discovering all the witchcraft is happening while Archie is dealing with the first couple of days in Juvie. So. He's going to be in there probably for like half a season. That's what I'm thinking. Um, we're going to be exploring this occult thing happening in town. Um, this war between the north and south side is going to basically culminate into a full-blown thing that happened last season. So, yeah. Season 3. <laughs> Let's hope we can make it through this one. So, anyway, leave me your comments down below if you want me to continue reviewing this season. Let me know if you want me to review other shows um, right now. Hang on, y'all. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> oh, God. This is bad. One more. <coughs> oh, man. It's bad. So, right now I'm reviewing Star on Fox, Riverdale. I'm going to be reviewing Dynasty tomorrow. 
I'm reviewing Charm on Sunday and then I'm reviewing Black Lightning after this. Also, I'm kind of like, do I want to review Station 19? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to keep doing these review reviews. If I get 30 views on this, then I'll do a second one. Remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button below. This is your girl. Peace out. More love. And have a great week.